Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Daisy's Phone Case DIY. This one is super easy to make, so much fun and super cute. So I'm just going to be using this clear phone case that I got online. It's new, brand new. I just opened it. I'm going to be working with some like acetate sheet, placing my phone case upside down. This is another phone case that I did the same thing with over my acetate sheet. And I'm just going to mark the shape or just trace the shape of it with my pen. And I'm just going to cut it. So once I cut it, I'm just going to be placing this again upside down. So I'm just going to be working on the back of it. As you can see, there's like the gap for the camera. So yeah, I'm just gonna be working on this part on the back of this so we can create kind of like stickers. I'm going to be using tree lighting tools. This is the smallest one that I'm gonna be using. I do have the DIY for this one if you wanna check it out. It's on the cards. Then for my medium size dining tool, I'm just gonna be using a brush, a detail brush, working on the back of this because it's like pretty much a dining tool. Pretty much every brush that you see in the back of it is pretty much a dining tool. As far as my bigger dining tool, I'm just gonna be using this, which is like a proper dining tool. I'm gonna be using this yellow and this white acrylic paint. And remember, I'm working on the back of it. First, I'm going to add some like dots with my smallest dining tool all over the place. Then with my medium one, yeah, adding more dots. And then finally, with my bigger dotting tool, which is giving us bigger dots. But yeah, I'm just going to be covering this with my three dotting tools. I'm just going to let them dry. Make sure it's completely dry though, because if not, the next step, which is the white dots, is going to be blending. And I'm pretty much going to be adding five dots around each yellow dot, covering with paint like that. I'm going to be doing the same thing in all my dots, the big ones and the medium sized ones and the smallest ones. I had to change the angle of my camera, by the way, for this, just so that I could see what I was doing. But if you make any mistake, just before it dries, remove like the whole paint with water and if it's dried, just uh, remove it with some like acetone. A small tip that I have for you is if you want to go over this design like permanent in your phone case, you don't have to use any acetate sheet. Just work directly on your phone case, like place it upside down as I did with the like acetate sheet and just work directly on like the phone case. I'm not doing that though because I want to be able to use the same phone case for more upcoming like designs that I want to share with you. But there is, this is pretty much the uh, phone case that I want to share with you. I honestly really like it. They turn out so cute they look almost like stickers it's fun it's fresh it's perfect for summertime and all year round i don't know it makes me happy it's not weird to say that especially because i painted this i think this is so much fun to look at but yeah i really like it uh, i hope you like it too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out more fun cases that i have on my channel and subscribe for more but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye